started back then. All right, so we're coming out here. Let's see what I'm gonna show you right here. Oh, where I'm at now, this is the Bojangles in Aiden out on Highway 11. There's a little intersection out here and it was not like this at all. The Pines, which is where my friend Colin Baldry lives. Um, and I also remember a couple of other people that live in there, but Colin and his family, which I interviewed for another story, live back there. And that was the rich section. That's where all the rich people lived. And this road that I'm turning to the right was basically just a two lane road out into the country. Now you can see that it's uh, four lane to here and then there's a roundabout and there's actually a four lane cro crossing out here. Back then this was out in the boons. This was uh, literally out in the middle of nowhere. And in the first grade, or actually I'm telling you wrong, I was in the second grade. I went to Aiden Elementary School and a girl named Beth Grubbs, her dad owned the Chevrolet dealership. They lived back there and I went to a pool party at the country club back there and thought that I was going to be big and slide off the sliding board into the pool and then got embarrassed because I nearly drowned. I, I thought I could swim better than I could and got embarrassed there. So we're going to turn into the pines here, uh, evidently, and take a look. Like I say, I'm not sure what I did. I can't remember. Uh, but we're going to just narrate as we go. And then uh, my regular narration will take over soon. And I'll split this up into a few episodes. Uh, Colin and I were always friends uh, early on uh, and remain friends today. I actually uh, talk to Colin several times a year. He's a dear friend, always been very nice to me. There was a young lady that I knew that I thought was beautiful. She lived right there. Her name was Deborah Paxton. And I have no idea what happened to Deborah, but I always uh, thought that she was really pretty. I'm sure that it was the, sec the two-story house there. And Colin lived further around down here, and they actually still live there. His dad is Bear Baldry. Uh, he ran the insurance company here and was also the mayor of Aden for a, uh, a period of time. And his mother was a school teacher. They were really, really good folks. I'm not taking you there. Um, I'm taking you now to Aiden Elementary School. Right here is, and it seems like I'm always talking about traumatic things, but I think traumatic things is what you remember. Right there was a trailer, like a double wide trailer that they used for an, uh, a school room. That was my fourth grade classroom was right there. And that was where Dwayne Elks flipped over those desks in there. I could see it just like it happened yesterday was right there. And also in that classroom was where I won second, second um, in the uh, art contest behind a young man named uh, John Bazell. John was an amazing artist. And I've dropped my camera down for some reason. I'm sorry. But John was an incredible artist, and he did this thing. You remember the, the show Good Times and that, that painting that they had of the people kind of exaggerated? John did that kind of art in the fourth grade. It was pretty crazy. And I've seen John since then, and he told me he really didn't do art anymore, which makes me sad because he was so, so good at it. He did the thing where he would color things with crayons and then take a paper towel or a Kleenex and smooth it out, kind of, kind of move it uh, to give it a texture, to make it smooth, kind of, uh, uh, how would you say he would, he would smash it out. And right in here, I remember doing my very first play and I was Bluebeard, I believe, in a play about Alaska. Those were the second grade classrooms right there. I can remember that. And now we're back around the front of the school. I don't remember much, to be honest, about the third grade. I can remember second and fourth here. But this was Aiden Elementary School, and this is where I went to uh, second, third, and fourth grade. Fifth grade at the other school that we were just at. I went to sixth grade in Kinston at Banks Elementary. I went to seventh, uh, some at Winterville, A.G. Cox, some at Aiden Grifton, where we were just at, or Aiden Middle School, I should say, where we were just at. I went to 8th at Aiden Middle, 9th in Kent, no, I'm telling you wrong, 9th at Aiden Grifton, 
10th, 11th, and 12th in Kinston at North Lenore High School, uh, which is actually in LaGrange, just outside of Kinston. I know that's confusing, but I've got it memorized. It, it happened to me. But right there, I can remember being right out there and playing. I remember Dwayne Elks, the same crazy guy, standing out there and telling me that he was hearing things and um, just acting crazy. And then, like I say, our classrooms were there, and I remember him flipping those desks over. He would – some. Uh, I. I think he would just do it to get out of class because he would just go crazy and start flipping all the desk over in the whole room. And um, he was not right, as, as they say. All I know is that he committed suicide. I really don't know any of the particulars about it, sadly. So I was going to show you this. This is Capital, uh, I think they called it uh, Skyli Skyline Barbecue, Skylight Barbecue. And this is world famous for barbecue. Presidents would order the barbecue in and that kind of stuff, and they would make it up and ship it over there. Sadly, the light is not very good. I'm kind of behind the sun, so you see that the top of it looks like the Capitol. I think I'm going to try to get a different angle and go to the other side. So it is called Skylight Inn, and that barbecue is fantastic. Now, his grandson has a barbecue place in Greenville called Sam Jones Barbecue, and it is fantastic. But you see the top of it looks like a capital. His claim to fame is presidents like his barbecue, and we'll buy it and order it and that kind of stuff. This is at the edge of Aden when you're leaving, heading back towards Kinston and, and Grifton, just off of Highway 11. Right there is Highway 11, right behind it to the left. And the barbecue in North Carolina, if y'all have never had it, is unbelievable. I think people like the barbecue from the place they grew up. That's the place I grew up. Down here is a auction house. This, I spent a lot of time with this guy that his uh, dad owned this auction house, and it still says Buck's Auction. And his name was, um, his last name was Buck. And that building right there, I got guitars. I got my very first guitars that were mine out of this auction right here. My dad bought them. And would, uh, we would come here and do auctions, but I also spent time with this young man. His uh, name is escaping me now, but his last name is Buck, I'm sure. Uh, but his family owned that. And we spent, I spent a lot of time with him at this auction. And we actually played music in that building right there. We practiced in that building some. I'm sure he's still around. And this is Highway 11. I'm heading out to my high school. I've taken you to the elementary school, to the middle school, to the high school. This is where I went to high school in the ninth grade. Um, after this, I ended up in Kinston at North and North for the next three grades where I graduated. But this was ninth grade. I remember someone supposedly doing an Elvis concert here. They, I bought a ticket. I could not hardly wait. And I was, I went to the thing. It was on a Saturday. I got there. They were all set up ready. And I want you to know I was the only person that bought a ticket. And then this is in Greenville. And I'm going to let the rest of the, the rest of it has sound. So I'm going to let it work from here on. Thank you for listening. So friends, my dad's brother, Ed, lived in Greenville, North Carolina. And he had sons, uh, Jimmy and Eddie and Scott and a daughter, Patricia. I always looked up to them, and they've been very entrepreneurial. This is my cousin's self-storage place, and he does other stuff. But this is one of the Stalin's clan. This is their business in out, uh, outside of Greenville, North Carolina. You can see it's Stalin's Mini and Mobile Storage. They have these mobile storage units that they'll take out as well that people can rent. So this is my um, uh, first cousins. This will be my dad's brother's sons, and those are the mobile storage units that you see right out there. So if you live around here and you have a need for this, please call my cousins. I believe that this is Jimmy's business right here, Jimmy Stylings. So this was my brother Vance's friend, Fane Worthington's house. They owned a big old farm and that kind of stuff. I always uh, liked Fane. He was very nice. And this was close to the Trips. The Trips house that we talked about earlier is up here. 
So once I figured out that I had messed my microphone up, I went and kind of backtracked. So you may see some of the same things twice, but hopefully the stories will, will make sense. I just want to make sure that I have all this stuff down. And I hope you're interested in this. If you're not, I understand. There's the Trips house right there. And I'm going to go past it and show you down here where we actually, uh, bus 81 would pick us up there in front of the house and we would go down here. And that was a little store there on the right hand side back then. I remember that store actually being open and I remember turning left on this road and I can, I think this was a dirt road back then from my recollection, but this was part of the way that we would go on the bus. And that was an old Ford bus, which this would have been, it would have been in the 60s, probably. When I say it was an old bus, it was old to me in the 70s. So it had to be early 60s or mid-60s uh, Ford bus. And I'm just driving down here more or less just to see what it looks like. It's been so long and you can see there's a lot of homes and that kind of stuff. Back then, this was just a dirt road. And it's uh, all grown up man it just keeps getting bigger out there i mean this is out in the boondocks this is a long ways from any city uh, especially from a major city so when i was a kid this was a dirt road we would come down this on the bus 81 and that house was there of course this store was a working store back then i don't ever recall going in it but i remember seeing it working this house that we were going to see on the right was where the Trips lived. That's the first house I recall that had an air conditioner in it. And it had a window unit. And these people you see is right at the end of this road right here where cars can run. Right there in that driveway. That, that side was not on that house right there. But in that driveway, a car came down this road, which is the road I lived on. Ran the stop sign. Back then, the stop sign was in the middle of the road. There was a... Uh, kind of an island in the middle of the road and it bumped over that island and hit that brand new uh, it was a Datsun and all the people around here didn't like them buying a, a Japanese car but it hit that Datsun and totaled it out sitting right there I remember it even having a fence wrapped around the car because it spun it around that's my cousin right there distant cousin McLawhorn lived there but I spent a lot of time out in those fields and those woods back there behind this, this house and this place right there. My friend Dwayne Maxwell lived on this house on the corner. I wonder if this house is still here. He played music. I ran into him in bands in the later years when I was a little older. He, they, the family, Maxwell family lived right here. Yeah, that is the same house. And then Farmer's Funeral Home was right down here. And the son went to high school with me. He was a little older than me, and they called him Digger. That was his nickname. Farmer's is right here on the corner. Right there. His name was Digger, or his nickname. This used to be normal Highway 11. I don't recognize it anymore. It used to just go that way, and I see all this, this stuff, so they've added another piece to it. It's really bizarre how they did this. point of this is I reckon that's the way that the other highway merges into this highway because they, what they've done is made highway 11 split where it goes two different ways which is pretty bizarre Challenge this Mustang up here a little bit.
That's Minji's Pepsi Cola right there. I went to school here, ninth grade. I vaguely remember what the front of this school looked like as far as is in the front, but I remember the right side parking lot in the back very well. I can remember a black guy, I don't remember his name, but he would moonwalk and he could do it really, really good. He would moonwalk in the hallways constantly. I wish I could remember his name. But I was in drama, and the drama department was right in there. That was where the we would do plays and stuff, and I did a lot of plays there. I can remember that very, very well. I want to try to see the back of the school, but it looks like it's really chained off very well. Well, I can see the back right here. seemed like to me that the uh, cafeteria was right back here in the middle. And I can remember very vividly, you see where those bricks are sticking out right there. I think that's windows. I remember being in there quite a bit. Most of my stuff I can remember was more from back here than anywhere. Yep, I went to school right here, Aiden Grifton High School. remember them doing shop class around here. When I was in shop class, you know, actually we, we learned welding and you know, it's all flooding back to me. We learned welding here and I learned how to mold metal. They had sand, and I believe it was here. They had sand that you would uh, make metal and pour the metal in it, and make you could mold stuff. And I did that right here. I can remember that. It kind of, those memories just flooded back. I had kind of forgotten about that. But my dad taught me how to weld and use a cutting torch, but we also did it here. So these were easy classes for me because I already had experience doing it. And I remember being in this parking lot out here. It was a big deal in the 80s to own your own car. When I was here, I wasn't 16 yet, for one thing. So I didn't own my own car, but my friends had cars that sometimes I would ride with and do stuff. So I do have recollections of being in this parking lot. And I really have recollections of being in drama class. What was his name? Doug, I remember his name was Doug, he wore glasses, and I remember doing plays and entering through that, and I was never a lead in the play. I was in Finian's Rainbow. I played one of the Cockney boys. I do recall that, but I remember doing plays. The auditorium is right there and being in there. Yep, 
right here. That would have been in the late 70s. They've got tennis courts. I don't remember those. There's tennis courts over there out into that field. I vaguely remember any of this back here, but I did go to football games. And this is also, uh, okay, here's a story. In that gymnasium, after Elvis died, I would have been here, I'm thinking 1979, and I bought a ticket to go to see an Elvis impersonator. I have no idea who it was but I was trying to research to see if I could figure it out. And I bought the ticket, I remembered, I bought the very first ticket. As soon as it, they became available, I bought one, it was $10. I showed up here, they had the stage set up, I saw the guy walking around, I was so excited, I couldn't wait to see the show. Turns out I was the only one to buy a ticket. And that happened right here in this gymnasium. The Aiden Grifton Chargers, this is Charger country. This was after my time. I would have been a class of 1983. But I went on to a Kinston schools and that's where I graduated. So make sure when you're watching the weekly spa guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and Watch the weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.